Happy New Year! Happy 2017. 2017? I don't know. It's 2017. I can't believe it. I remember when it turned 2000 and everybody thought the world was going to end. But, I mean, I didn't think the world was going to end, but I remember everyone thinking the world was going to end. Y2K? Anybody remember that? Anyways, Happy New Year! So today I am doing a Maternity Monday update. So, in my dream... Oh, the battery's about to die. Hold on. Josh! Okay, we have a fresh battery. Anyways, what I was saying was, in my perfect world, I would have filmed a maternity update every week. But, in my not-so-perfect world, I have been very, 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 very sick. And that's not enough to explain how sick I've been. So, I uploaded a week 5 through 10 or 5 through 9 a couple of weeks ago, and I am now 20 weeks. And it's not that I don't want to film, it's that I have been so... Sick. And I have something called hyperemesis, hyperemesis gravidarum, hyperemesis gravidarum. I think I'm saying that right, but I call it HG. Maybe. A lot of people who are pregnant that have it call it HG because it's such a large word. But I'm just going to quickly read off of AmericanPregnancy.org um, the definition. Hyperemesis gravidarum is a condition characterized by severe nausea, vomiting, weight loss, and electrolyte disturbance. Mild cases are treated with dietary changes, rest, and antacids. More severe cases are often require a stay in the hospital so that mother can receive fluid and nutrition through an IV. Do not take any medications to solve this problem without consulting your healthcare provider. So I have HG. I've had it for, um, well, I mean, I'm 20 weeks, so 20 weeks, but uh, it started at 5.5 weeks. And basically what it is is, well, you know what? We're just, we've got this pulled up. I'm going to tell you what it is right here. So the symptoms are severe nausea and vomiting, food aversions, weight loss of 5% or more, pre-pregnancy weight, decrease in urination, dehydration, headaches, confusion, fainting, jaundice, extreme fatigue, low blood pressure, rapid heart rate, loss of skin elasticity, secondary anxiety and depression. Of the whole list that I just read off to you, the only thing that I did not have was jaundice. Um, so like I said, I got that definition from the AmericanPregnancy.org. And a lot of people think that if they have HG or they only have HG if they go to the hospital. Well, that's not true. I ended up never going to the hospital. Later on, my doctor told me that I should have gone to the hospital. And there were many times where I should have gone to the hospital, but I knew that that pesky little bill would come if I went, so I avoided going. Um, there has been many instances where Josh has had to leave work and come take care of me because I couldn't walk. Um, a lot of times... I'm just going to quickly tell you about this whole HG thing. A lot of times I would be so sick, I would be on the toilet, I'd be throwing up. Many, many times my blood vessels in my face have burst all over. Uh, a lot of times it's really common around my eyes and my mouth, but one time it was so severe my whole face was just, it looked like I, I was burnt. Blood vessels busted all over my face. Um, just throwing up, so much throw up. Um, nausea, constant nausea, hasn't gone away just tired, fatigued, can't walk sometimes, too weak to walk, nearly passing out a lot, low blood pressure, high blood pressure, um, I can't handle like smells and stuff. And a lot of these are symptoms of normal morning sickness, but this is like an extreme version of it. And as far as I know, no one in my family ever had this. My mom didn't have it. My sister didn't have it. They just had normal nausea and maybe a few times of throwing up. So this has been quite the journey for me. I'm not complaining at all. Um, I'm thankful that I am pregnant. Um, like I said, I'm 20 weeks today. So uh, the last time I threw up, I threw up last night just a little bit, and I threw up two days ago a lot bit. So I'm still throwing up. I'm not throwing up every day now. My HG is definitely not as severe as it was. It is slightly weaning off. Um, I'm able to have good days now. So obviously, I'm here. I'm filming, um, but I have spent many, 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 many days in the bed or on the couch. Um, I have not worked since September. I, it makes me really sad because I really do enjoy working. I love my job. I enjoy working where I work. Um, the physical th side of things of my job, that's going to be, um, I'm a little worried about that going back to work once I am 100% better. I'm just worried about the physicality behind it, but that's a whole different story that doesn't have to do with my HG. My job, I cannot work. I could not work regardless whether I had a desk job, a standing job, whatever. I couldn't work, period, because of how sick I've been. But um, if I just had regular morning sickness, I could probably work if I was just nauseous. But the throwing up, the fact that I'm throwing up, I can't work 
because the type of job that I have, it requires me to be there 100% all the time. Only when I'm not on breaks could I be sitting down and not feeling well. So if I throw up, I can't leave my location of work. I have to stay where I'm at. So it's not an option for me to work right now. Um, so basically weeks 10 through 20, it's been the same. Just really sick, not feeling well, a lot of resting. Um, gone to the doctor several times. I have tried. A lot of people have given me advice. I'm the type of person, I don't really want advice unless I ask for it. <laughs> so a lot of people have been giving me advice like eat crackers or drink a Gatorade. No, no, no. This is like a severe medical issue and unfortunately those things just don't cut it. I've tried, I don't even know how many medicines I've tried. Usually you go through like three or four medicines when you're pregnant. I've tried probably 10 different medicines. I've tried um, acid reducers. I've tried nausea medicine. I've tried medicine that they use on cancer patients. I've tried so many different things. I've tried steroids. I've tried antibiotics. I've tried, I mean, just so many different things and none of it has really worked. Um, occasionally some things would work. Occasionally the things that did work, my insurance wouldn't approve because like I said, that medicine is usually used for cancer patients. So it's a very expensive medicine. Um, but once again, I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you guys know that my maternity update that I have been really sick and that is the update. I do have a bump now. It's very exciting. I'm very excited. We found out at week 20, well week 19 and a half that we are having a girl. If you haven't seen that yet, you should go to my Instagram or our YouTube channel. I'll link those things. Um, but we out announced on Instagram and our YouTube channel that we're having a girl and we're very excited. I didn't really have, um, like, the first three months, maybe four months, I had this like feeling it was a girl, but then it kind of wore off because one time I was at the doctor and she was taking the heart, my doctor's a girl too, she was taking my heart, the baby's heart rate, and when she took the baby's heart rate, I was like, what if it's a boy? Like it just hit me in that moment, I was like, oh my gosh, what if it's a boy? So I really wasn't, I'm surprised because whenever I've had friends or family pregnant, I've been very adamant about what they're having and I'm usually right, but this time, when my first pregnancy, neither of us were really like, it's a girl, it's a boy. Like neither of us had that feeling. Our whole family, Josh's and my side, Josh's and my side both, were pretty adamant that it was a boy. And <laughs> she surprised us all. So it is definitely a girl. We are very excited. Um, any other updates? That's pretty much it. I've been really sick and we found out it's a girl and we're very excited. So hopefully I'll be able to film more in the future from this point out. I think that's all for this video. Lady, thank you for being a good girl. She got groomed today, so she's really tired. But as always, if you have any ideas for future videos, any questions for future videos, leave those in comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and be sure to subscribe. YouTube is so messed up right now and my subscribers, whenever I post a video, I lose subscribers instead of gain them. And I don't have that many, so be sure to subscribe because I wanna hit 3,000 very, very soon. Okay, I think that's all. We're gonna go eat dinner now, probably Firehouse, and we're gonna go to Babies R Us and start registering. So we are very excited and we're thankful for your support. And as always, we will see you real soon. Have a magical day. Bye! Baby bug is coming, baby bug is coming. 20 weeks, so we got 20 weeks left. Yay!